I'm Katie from the blog HeartsContentFarmhouse.com and today I am sharing with you another Christmas cookie recipe and this one is for old fashioned sour cream cookies. This is a recipe that is a little bit different. A lot of people have never had sour cream cookies before. Um, what they basically are is a really soft sugar cookie with sour cream added um, and the result is a soft sort of a cake like cookie. Um, and then they're topped with a really simple vanilla glaze. They are not the prettiest cookie to look at, but they are really good, especially for people who like things that are not super sweet. This recipe makes about two and a half dozen cookies, um, and it does double easily if you want to make more. Um, just everyday ingredients. What you need for this recipe is three cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, a cup of softened butter, I use salted, unsalted is fine, it's really not a big deal either way, one and a half cups of sugar, two eggs, a cup of room temperature sour cream, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And then to make the glaze, all you need is a cup of powdered sugar, about a tablespoon of milk, and a dash of vanilla. Then if you want to, you can put sprinkles or um, sparkling sugar on top. So we are going to start just by mixing our dry ingredients in a separate bowl. So that's the flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Mix that inside to the side. And then we are going to cream together the butter, sugar, and the egg with an electric mixer on medium for about three to five minutes until that is really soft and fluffy. Um, then we want to put in all of the sour cream. Again, make sure it's room temperature and the vanilla. Mix that just until it's combined. And then we're going to slowly add in the flour mixture so that dry ingredients full is going to get added in about a third at a time mixing it on low so at this point if your cookie dough is made and you'll notice that it is very very soft um, so we do need to go ahead and refrigerate it for about an hour to help it keep its shape when we bake it while the dough is chilling in the fridge you'll want to preheat your oven to 375 and get two baking sheets ready by lining them with parchment. You can also just spray them with pan if you don't have parchment paper, that's fine. Um, but I really recommend parchment if you have it because this is a little bit of a sticky recipe. Um, so now we are scooping um, about tablespoon size balls of dough and give them about two inches of space. They're going to spread out a little bit and bake the cookies for about 12 minutes until the edges are golden brown. The center should be set, um, and you might actually want to test this almost like you're testing a cake. So um, stick a toothpick in there and you'll want it to come out clean or just with a few moist crumbs. And now these cookies need to cool before they get glazed. And once they're cool, you can go ahead. The glaze is optional, but it again, they're really not a very good looking cookie. <laughs> so the glaze helps to make them prettier and adds just a little bit of sweetness. Um, and all we're doing is getting a cup of powdered sugar and up to a tablespoon of milk. I would start with a half a tablespoon, mix it, and check the consistency um, because you don't want the glaze to run off. Before you glaze all of them, do a test cookie, let it sit, and make sure that the glaze is at the right consistency. Um, once you have it right, go ahead and glaze all of them, put the sprinkles on, and just let them set. Um, these actually freeze very well, fully baked and glazed, and just put them in the freezer just like that in the Ziploc bag. You can also freeze the dough, um, or you can make the dough ahead of time and refrigerate it up to two days and just leave it in the fridge and bake them when you need them. So again, a little bit of a different recipe, um, but very easy to make and one that I think will be popular with your family too. So if you look in the description box below this video, I will type out the full recipe for you. And I will also put a link to my blog where you can print out the recipe for these sour cream cookies and have a paper copy. So I hope you enjoy the recipe. Let me know if you try it and thank you so much for watching. Bye.